for rna polymerase to successfully bind to a eukaryotic promoter and initiate transcription a set of proteins called transcription factors must first assemble to the promoter the assembly process begins upstream of the transcription start site where proteins called basal factors find a short tata sequence in the promoter region they bind to the tata box other basal factor proteins then bind eventually forming a full transcription factor complex able to capture the rna polymerase basal factors are essential for transcription but cannot by themselves increase or decrease the rate a second set of transcription factors called coactivators link the basal factors with a third set of transcription factor proteins known as activators activators are regulatory proteins that bind to sequences on dna called enhancer elements enhancers are located at sites that are distant from the promoter The interaction of the activator protein with transcription factor subunits increase the rate of transcription. Many enhancers scattered around the chromosome can bind different activators which provide a variety of responses to various signals. When a second kind of regulatory protein called a repressor bind to a silencer element in the DNA sequence located adjacent to or overlapping an enhancer sequence this corresponding activator is no longer able to bind to the DNA anymore due to the silencer element the end of the chromosomes contain regions referred to as telomeres the telomeric regions consist of telomeric repeat sequences The exact sequence of the telomeric repeat can vary from species to species. The repeat sequence shown here is found to be present in telomere of human chromosomes. Since DNA replication can only proceed in 5 to 3 prime direction and requires a primer, it is not possible for DNA polymers to replicate the 3 prime end of the linear chromosomes. If this problem were not corrected chromosomes would be shortened with each cycle of DNA replication the addition of telomeric repeat sequences by an enzyme complex referred to as telomerase assures that this shortening does not occur telomerase is a unique and interesting enzyme because in addition to having DNA polymerase activity it also contains an RNA sequence that provides a template for the synthesis of telomeric repeat DNA part of the rna sequence hybridizes with the single stranded overhanging or structure of the dna leaving a single stranded overhang the repeat unit shown here is from tetrahymena which is a model organism used in telomere and telomerase research the dna polymerase functions of telomerase then synthesizes the dna strand complementary to the rna found in the telomerase and the dna subsequently translocates to the end of the newly synthesized strand the process repeats itself many cycles of repeats can occur once telomerase has completely done its job the dna primase synthesizes an rna primer near the 3 prime end and dna polymerase fills the vacant area a short region at the 3 prime end will remain single stranded the end result is the telomere will have added many repeated sequences form a new dozen to several hundred this prevents chromosomal shortening